But the first question that I want to actually highlight today is the question of a brother who is saying something that is very unique and it's tough at the same time, it's really difficult also because it has in it a few issues. The question is, I have to marry one of three girls. I love all three of them. I want to marry one without the others feeling cheated. What should I do? Right, I want to ask you because obviously now that we are speaking simply to Nigeria, what is the Nigerian response of this? What would the men say? What should he do? Can you say it loudly? What should he do? Did you hear what they said? Did you, do you agree with their answer? Do you agree with their answer? Okay, my answer is brother, if you are in the crowd and you are, stand up and we solve your problem now. <laughs> is that fair? We solve your problem now. The sisters are either here or they are not here. At least they will understand you don't want to hurt them. If you have already developed that relationship, it is bound to hurt. May Allah forgive us. May Allah strengthen us. Remember one thing, until and unless a man has not come forth to actually propose, don't have hope in that proposal. Did you hear what I said? Until and unless a man has not come forth to propose, don't have hope in that proposal. People change their minds at any time. Even after marriage, they can change their minds and divorce. Even after you loved each other, people divorce. It's not wrong to change your mind, but it's wrong to lead someone on with a promise that was clear in no uncertain terms that I will marry you and then you walk off. If you walk off, one might argue, well, I didn't marry them, it was okay to break it. But the thing is, we gave our hearts before we were supposed to give them. I've always said that some of you might have heard this, that your heart and your mind are two of the most powerful organs, the heart and the brain are two of the most powerful organs you have. Never ever give anyone those two besides Allah. Don't donate them to someone. Don't donate your heart to anyone. Don't donate that brain to anyone, the mind to anyone. These two, they belong to Allah. The minute you've given your heart to someone else, they will have the ability to break you and destroy you and actually lead you into such suicidal thoughts or even worse. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Take control of your heart. Reclaim your heart as we always say. Make sure that it's well within where it is supposed to be. Promises, everyone can make a promise. I love you. The dunya can say it. They say it so much. You heard me say before that nearly all of us, myself included, when we are typing, we type LOL, L-O-L, right? Did you really laugh? When you typed L-O-L, did you laugh? What does L-O-L stand for? Laugh out loud, right? You neither laughed nor was it out loud, but you said LOL so many times without laughing. If people can say LOL without laughing, they can easily say I love you without laughing. Have you heard what I said? Be careful. It's a statement, it's just a word. Our parents and the previous generation, they loved each other more than we love our own spouses at times. Not once did, they, did we catch them saying I love you. They used to prove it through actions. We've become weaker because the change of generation and society, we want to hear it many times a day. I message my family every day, several times, telling them how much I love them. It's important. You need to say it. People want to hear it nowadays. But remember, it is easy to be deceived by those words when they are coming from the wrong person. Don't just say, oh, he loves me, he loves me, oh yes, wow, he does and he just said it to you just like he's saying it to 25 other people. It's a fact, look at this brother, he's honest to tell us, yeah, you are right, maybe not 25, there are three. My beloved brother, you have to make a decision. My dearest sisters, it's more for you than for him. 
if this is the case with the brother, who's a good brother, he doesn't want to hurt when he has already hurt, then imagine what is happening to those whose supposed boyfriends are not even going to be this thoughtful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. And this could be happening either way. So, obviously he will have to make a decision. There is no quick fix to come out of your mess, my beloved brother, besides what I suggested here, which is serious. If you get up, get up, we can give you a few seconds to put your hand up, inshallah. La ilaha illallah. May Allah bless you.